So it looks like Camille will be representing Johnny again in the case with Greg Brooke. This is Greg Brooks, and you may remember hearing about this. He's also referred to as Rocky Brooks. Um, he is a location manager, and he worked on City of Lies with Johnny, and he claimed that Johnny attacked him. Now, a lot of these allegations kind of got brought to the surface during the most recent trials, and his attorney recently spoke out and said that he is still ready to see Johnny in court. He claimed that he told the director that there was only one shot left for the scene, and Johnny got very angry with him and said, who the F are you? And he claims that Johnny punched him in the ribs and that he has suffered emotional and physical distress. There is a deposition online that you may have already seen where Johnny talks about this incident. I will post that at some point today, but I will be following this case. I think it's presumed to happen sometime around July or maybe a little after that, but I'm just really happy Camille is representing him again because she kicks butt. As mentioned in my last video, Camille Vasquez will be representing Johnny in his lawsuit with Greg Brooks. And I have a clip of the deposition that Johnny gave in 2019 for you. The deposition given is rather interesting as it seems that Greg Rocky Brooks seems to have been quite the aggressor on set. Take a look. Location manager. He showed the monitor a video of Rocky, the location manager, flipping him off and aggressively getting in his face. The monitor spoke to Rocky about the altercation and asked him to take a breather. Rocky seemed to back down. There was a lot of tension on the set at this time while the production tried to finish the scene. A lot of moving parts and personality conflicts. Do you remember any of this occurring specifically? No. That's, uh, I was just reading it and um, I, I thought it was pretty interesting just with regard to um, 11 at 11 p.m. or where it says the um, where I stepped in um, to um, to remind uh, Mr. Brooks that that was not proper set etiquette and and that he would we don't have time for this you know um, uh, and so that's at 11. At 10.45, it shows that he's already uh, uh, obviously in a, a, a aggressive, uh, since he's flipped somebody off, aggressively getting in his face. And then the, the guy spoke to him and said to take a breather. I don't think he took a breather. <laughs> this describing the woman that you were describing earlier correct this is a completely different individual and as far as you read this calls for speculation oh, i'm sorry i didn't understand that. yeah it was a question. lousy Excuse question right? no 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 I just... I, we spoke around 11 o'clock well we're looking at the 11 o'clock yes. listing but we spoke about an incident where uh rocky we're going to call him rocky that's mr brooks was aggressive towards a woman that we believe may have been homeless and that you intervened in that confrontation that he had had with the woman. Yes. But we're now looking at a 1045 incident that involves Rocky. And it, as far as you know, does this 1045 incident involve the same woman? That, that, Calls for speculation. That I don't know about. That seems, 1045 seems like it happened uh, offset to me. It, it, just from the way I read it, um, it sounds like...